Hello, children. Welcome to today's story session. In today's session, we are going to read the story Little Ants, Big Plan. The author of the story is Candace Dingwall, and the illustrations are done by Stephen McCann. And the publisher of this book is Book Dash. In this story, we are going to read about a little ant which has interest in reading books. By this habit, it helps the other ants also. Let us see how it happens. Little ant loved to read. Little ant was often teased. Ants don't read. Ants must feed. Ants collect the food they need. So there was a little ant which loved reading books. The other ants tease this little ant by saying that ants will not read. Ants will only collect food. Little ant would read all day. He would read and read the day away. But this little ant will be reading throughout the day. The other ants took what they found to store for winter underground. These ants, they are very small, so they cannot come out during winter and rainy season, right? So they have to store their food for those seasons. So the other ants were so busy in collecting the food for those seasons. When this ant was very much busy in reading. His mom and dad got really mad and little ant felt really bad. Because of this, Little ant's behavior, the ant's mother and father was not happy. And seeing them, this little ant was also feeling very bad. In autumn, when the leaves fall down, the ants must keep food underground. So during the autumn season, when the leaves fall, these ants cannot go out for their food. So for that, they have to store their food in a safe place. The queen wants food to fill the store, so all the ants must work some more. There was a queen who wanted all the ants to collect as much food as they can on behalf of her. Little ant begins to shout about a place he read about. A restaurant is what we need. A place where people go to feed. It says so in the books I read. Now the little ant gets reminded of a place where they can get lots and lots of food which the ant has read in a book. That place is a restaurant. Restaurant is a place we all know, right? It is a hotel. So where we all go and eat. So in the hotel, there will be lots and lots of food from where the ants can collect. The ants go marching one by one. They march into the setting sun. Now, now all the ants go marching inside the restaurant in a line till the sun sets. See, this is a restaurant. And little ant said, hey, there's one. So now that little ant saw a Burger. Here, 
And it says, oh, there is one. The ants go marching one by one, carrying a burger, carrying a bun. So all the ants go and collect all the food. One carried a burger while the other one carried a bun. When they return, the queen is glad. The stores are full. They cheer like mad. Once all the ants collected the food and came back, seeing lots and lots of food varieties, the queen ant was so happy. It said, oh, my store is full. And she was shouting like a mad person. See, the queen ant is so happy and she shakes hands with this ant which is interested in reading books. Yes, and gets hugs from mom and dad. It was only because of this small ant, the queen was so happy. Seeing this, the little ants, mother and father, also was so happy and they hugged the little ant. His baby sister takes his hand. Now I think I understand. The way you love to read a book makes me want to take a look. Now his baby sister also realizes the importance of reading. And she shakes hands with her brother and says, oh, now I understood. Gives you lots and lots of knowledge. Did you all enjoy this story? This one was a different one. Unlike human beings, and also wanted to read. Reading gives you lots and lots of information and knowledge. So it is very important in life. Yes? Thank you. Try this. Which season do you like and why? How can reading books be helpful to others?